Welcome online guys, Tomagotchi here, here with part two of the Cafe Chaos unboxing video because I wanted to keep this in two parts, well that and the fact that after doing the first one I'm like you know what let's just let's just make another video showing the actual cards so I'm going to show off the cards, I'm first going to show you the standard cards that you get in the Cafe Chaos and then we're going to actually go out of our way to open the packs from earlier just to show you, I'm probably not going to show everything because I don't know if there's, there's any secrecy involved. Like, I actually tried to get the spoilers for uh, another card game that was done by an animator called Sugar Heist. And not all the cards were shown off from what I've heard. So I don't know if they want to keep things secretive. But I, I want to show enough to give you an idea of what this is like. I'll probably show all the cards anyway. But... We'll, we'll see what we'll see as we go along. So here we have the first card that I ever opened, and it's the Cannonball James character action card. That is, of course, signed by him. He's got a little face and everything. Uh, this is actually good because a memory just jostled in my head. Uh, I actually did get an autograph from the Odd Ones Out himself. Uh, in the form of a poster and that poster got wrecked on the way home because it because it caught on something and ripped as I was going through King's not King's Cross Euston London's Euston everyone knows that uh, it got ripped so the thing that I had autographed is now destroyed so it's nice to have his autograph in card form and it's a nice little card I will sleeve this if I intend to use it in play before as before actually using it because I really do want to keep I do want to keep all of my cards in mint condition no matter what cards they are whether they're Pokemon, Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering, My Little Pony yes that was a thing uh, uh, we all we all want them sleeved but for the time being it's not it's not a big deal because I can just put everything in this foam insert and actually Oh yeah, that's right. It's in the it's in the box. So there's a foam insert in the box. I can get everything sleeved later. And if I'm really that desperate, I actually will prioritize this over the Digimon sleeves that I have at the moment. But anyway, this is the first character action and it is called Stalk. Take one card randomly from target. If they are not target at you, if they are not target you, you may change their target. I'm assuming that's what it is. I have not read too closely on the rules. But let's open this up. And let's see what the cards are like. Uh, I still don't have my scissors. I'm going to need to talk about that later. Uh, get all of my all of my utensils. So we have Stork, we have Outsmart, pause the video if necessary of course, we have Mope, this is actually, this is actually a uh, boy in a band, Dave, and I actually met him in person and didn't expect him to see him in person but I have enjoyed his music videos so I'm really, I'm really happy to get that even if I'm not getting the character. There's Spin, there's Cheer, Swing, Fetch, Shove, Panic, Cannonball, Grab, 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 Grab. Okay, these are mostly... Oh, Duck, 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 Duck. Okay, so there's multiple of an action. Throw, throw, throw. Tackle, Cheat, Sprint. Uh, that actually looks like another YouTuber. I can't put my finger on who, though. <laughs> but uh, there's Smash, there's Hide, there's Lob... And there is catch. So those are the action cards. And whilst I'm here, I should also talk a little bit about why I wanted to get this so badly. I have already explained parts of it. But these are the guys that have inspired me, Tamagotchi, to get into animation. Which I have been working on in and out. Uh, and despite a few setbacks that I don't want to get into uh, involving somebody else, I 
really, really want to get into it. Tell a few stories of my own. Uh, I'm opening the event cards, and these are actually... Uh, there's no... It's, it's that weird sealed plastic. Because uh, the other one was kind of like a starter deck where you, it has a little tab and you just go around it. Um, I'm probably going to need my keys for this one. All right. Keys. Unlock my front door and unlock my cards. Ugh. I'm not planning on this unboxing thing becoming a thing, by the way. I... I am actually, oh, actually, I really do not want to destroy these cards. I'm not doing this on camera because I want to be careful about how I do it and not wreck the cards outright. Where are my scissors? You know what? Do it the old-fashioned way. You didn't see it, but I used my teeth at one of the corners. Which is probably a good thing that you didn't get to see that. See my horrible teeth. Ah, come on. Okay. Okay. Um, I can show this part. Ah, come on. These cards do not want to come out for some reason. Uh, there's not a whole lot of them compared to the action cards. There's Fire Drill. All players discard all cards except one. So it's the what Yu-Gi-Oh would call a hand destruction card. Uh, oh, 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 I got, I got, I got it, I think, I think. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I'll get to that. You might have noticed her already, but I'll get to that. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, got him out, got him out. And admittingly, there is a little bit of, oof, that's not good. That That's actually from me trying to get them open. Uh, it should be all right though. I don't think I, I don't think it did that much damage. But these are going to be sleeved anyway, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But we have fire drill, nice or lunch lady, mix up, sprinklers, school nurse, janitor duty, cruel and unusual punishment, time machine, hunger gate, hunger James, <laughs> best day ever. Uh, oh, we got ketchup, barbecue sauce, steak sauce, mustard, secret secret sauce, <laughs> it's got chicken, mayonnaise, relish, soy sauce, BFF, aw, that's nice. That is really, really nice. Uh, I'm going to save the character cards for later. Uh, okay, so this is the thing I was talking about, so there should be a way to get at this tab. Uh, so this will be ten times easier to get to get to. Ah, wait, is that it? Ah, come on. Ah, I'm also glad I did this before I decided to cut my nails today. Oh yeah, uh, there's a thing on the top that I can dig into, no problem. Okay, so this is great. No, I do not want to be on screensaver mode as, as I'm doing this. All right, so that's more. We have juicy, sour, moldy. I am just showing the cards off at this point, but you can pause the video at any time. Nacho cheese, coleslaw, boysenberry jam, thick cut bacon, peanut butter, turkey gravy, tater tots, baby bean burrito, beef steak, tomato, chili, chocolate surprise, corn dogs, cream dogs, monster fish. Yeah. Half-eaten cheeseburger. I like it. I like a good cheeseburger. Beefy wiener. Uh, it is wiener. Yeah. Hot wings. I'm not good with jalapeno poppers. Is that how you pronounce it? <sighs> Spanish was not my good suit. I do apologize. Jumbo gumbo. Kale smoothie. Kung Pao chicken. Large trout. Lime yogurt. Mystery meat. Pigs in blanket. Pulled pork sandwich, raw eggs, dino nuggets, tofu, tuna melts, extra cheesy mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, and pad thai. Okay. So those, I think those are the food cards. I, I'm guessing they're like a resource, like mana in magic. I don't, I don't know. I'm, 
If you want me to make a video about how you play, please let me know in the comments. But for the time being, I'm just interested in the cards themselves because I am a trading card nut job that, ironically, retired from Yu-Gi-Oh! Right, actually, exact same problem I had before with the event cards. So this time, I'm going to try my best to open this. Oh, gee. Uh. <laughs> right, I think I got it. I don't know. Come on, you little... I'm sweating at the moment. I really should get to... Uh, come on. Uh, come on. These are the cards I want to see the most. Uh, oh, wait. Did I rip into it? I'm going to get my teeth in there. Sorry. Uh, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. What's the delay? Come on. Ah, uh, come on, come on. Uh, once again, I'm not good at showing my showing things on camera in this way. This is probably the only unboxing video that I'm ever going to do. And we finally got the plastic out. But we have Mad Scientist. We have Emo Friend. Uh, that is clearly Boy in a Band. So we do actually get... I was actually talking about that earlier. Baby James. Furry. Okay. Hmm. Actually know a friend who might be willing to play as that character. Daring Devil. Floof. Oh, it's a little dog. I can't help you. I love dogs. I might actually play that. Uh, well, no, no. There's someone else I'll probably play. Paul the Bully. I almost said Jake Paul then. What does that say about me? I'm sorry. Harry the Moth. Aw. I like bugs. I mean, clearly, I'm the bug guy, right? Uh, oh, it's a Cannonball James, but it's not autographed. So... If I really don't want to risk it, uh, I could always just, just use this instead of this. Uh, but yeah, it is the same card. So you do get one to use in play. And you can just uh, sleeve that, probably frame it, because I'm probably... Uh, there's combo... Okay, these are combo cards. I see. Combo combos. I see. All the ways... All the ways to play with your food. I see. Oh, and Fnatic. Uh, okay. That's nice. That might actually... I think that's VidCon. Hang on a minute. OddCon? Is that in the corner? So, uh, character action stalk. It's me. It's me. It's totally me. So, let's not beat about the bush here. Right, but uh, that is not what you all came here to see, is it? Because uh, those are the standard cards. And anyone who backed the Kickstarter probably got their own set of cards. Uh, one second. Sorry, I had to edit that out. I had to, had to sneeze and I had to take a drink. Uh, we're going to open the junk food pack. And I, this time I'm going to try my best. Uh, one, to hide the QR code that's at the back. Because I don't know what that's for. And I... And I want to find out on my own, in my own time. Oh, my hands are red because I've been, I've been opening this. It's tough. And, uh, you know what? Forget it. Sorry, but uh, <laughs> I need to get at these cards for the video. I need to open these today. And I just destroyed the QR code in the process. So I hope that wasn't anything important. Uh, so please forgive me. We have the Ice Cream Man. We have Sweet Tooth, Powder Scoop. By the way, these cards are not randomized, so you do get the whole set in card form by doing this. So when I open a pack, I'm getting everything. It's not like I'm getting random cards and then I have to like keep getting packs and packs just to get the whole set. No, this is the whole, the whole set to add to the experience, to add themes, to add other stuff. Power Scoop, Sugar Rush... Okay, so there's the action. Bonus Scotch Pie, Cherry Slushy, 
grape jelly donuts. I have not actually had a jelly donut that's grape flavored. That sounds delicious. Camp Girl Cookies. These look a little more like onion rings to me. Although I guess, oh, okay, they might actually be from the selection boxes. The ones that I don't generally eat. Uh, that's just me. Ten layer dip. Chocolate pretzels. Double scoop ice cream. Carne as da fry. Asada fries. I said, I almost said a particular shopping franchise that we happen to have in the UK. Pork rinds. Couch cushion candy. That's actually giving me Simpsons flashbacks. Uh, Luna pie. What a time to be alive. Wow, this is just this is just built with Simpsons references. Pepperoni pizza. I do not like mine with pepperoni, thank you. But I do like the way that it's bendy. Deep fried chocolate syrup. Uh, Alfred Hitchcock would like that card. Uh, oozing with marshmallow. Chunky. I like them big. I like them chunky. Okay. Gooey. Candied. Uh, yeet. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm not showing these off good enough. Oh. Sorry, I am got these sniffles. And I just dropped some stuff on the floor. Never mind. Uh, rally. Belch. Ew. <laughs> if it was me, you'd be dead. Big sale. Uh, I'm not, again, I'm not doing a good job showing these off. Uh, ice cream social. And food poisoning. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, I'm wondering if uh, that's what this pocket's for. There's actually... Oh, wait, no. No, no. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's a pocket. Sorry, you can't see this because it's off camera. There's all these pockets, but the fifth one is actually not big enough for these cards in particular. So I'll, I'll put them sideways. Uh, you can't see it. But hang on. Uh, I'll put them like that for now. But they're clearly from that set. And, geez, I've got a bunch of stuff here that just keeps falling off. Right, let's go with the totally not copyrighted uh, Cafe Chaos Booster Pack number two. And before I open this one, I'm going to be very careful not to ruin the QR code on this one and just open the pack itself. Uh, I did kind of mess it up a little bit, but I think I can repair it just fine. Because, uh, you know, they have those squares at the top and the side that it absolutely needs. It's... Yeah, I'm going to have to do a lot of post-production for these videos just to keep things safe. So you're not seeing me unbox on camera, but you are seeing me pull all these. Subway James, of course. Employee of the Month. I think that's actually based on a real person that he might have known. I don't know. Eat. Snitch. Steak and cheese. Sliced ham. Avocado pit. Bag o' chips. Foot long. Nice. I, li I, like, I like getting a foot long. I normally have ham and cheese on mine. Italian meats. Veggie wrap. Soup of the day. Oatmeal cookie. Chopped salad. Low-fat milk, extra meatball, pepper and salt, oil and vinegar, olives, soggy, pickled, leftover, taunt, confuse, copy, annoying customers, uh, extra cheese, oh yeah, that's totally me, at a, I don't know if I can say it, but that's me there. <laughs> and caution, wet floor. So, uh, forgive me, I am sniffing a, l I am sniffing, uh, a little bit. So yeah, if you want to have like a Subway themed game, you can do. Uh, quick question actually, before we carry on. Are these marked in any particular way where... Oh yeah, okay, I think... Yes, so there's a little corner on the on here there's a corner so if you wanted for example and no i don't want to go and 
screensaver mode. If you just want to have a game that's based solely on Subway, you just use these cards. So it's kind of like Dominion in that effect. So it's like you can customize what you have. You could play with all of them theoretically. I, d I don't know the game. I'm sure. I'm sure there's a way to incorporate every single thing. But I don't absolutely know. Next up we have the Royal Pack. And this is the one where I actually had to pay a little tiny bit extra just to get. Because I might. Because I'm only going to do it once. I might as well get as many of the cards as possible. And yeah. I'm pretty excited. I don't think I know anything about this pack in particular. I knew about the other two packs. But not this one. Uh, but let's have a look. So we have the King of Cards, we have the Queen of Cards, so the King and the Queen, and we have the Knight. Uh, we don't have we don't have the the Jack, unfortunately. We have Wizard, we have the Executioner, the Lady in Waiting, the Village Idiot, <laughs> the Jester James, Feast, Rule, Shield. Transform, Chop, Protect, Goose, Juggle, Tiramisu, Escargot, which is a real crying shame because snails are awesome. Ye old pig's head, hmm, I wonder which Prime Minister of the UK would like this card, hmm. Uh, but anyway, Turdokin. Oh, is, is this a Jontron reference? Oh, that's so awesome. Mary Antoinette Cake. I think that's how you pronounce it. Creme brulee. Blood pudding. Shepherd's pie. Caviar. Aged wine. Infamous. Kingly. Spy. Catapult. High tea, jousting tawny, let them eat cake, and evil advisor. So that's the royal pack. Uh, how long have I got? Uh, I have enough time for the last pack of the day. Now, you've already seen me pull this pack before, uh, it, because in the other unboxing video, you saw me on pack this lot and of course there's my favorite animator again and she's also there in lego form because let's actually talk about her uh she is an inspiration of mine and i made this custom lego minifigure of her uh using mostly fake lego pieces this head is actually modified i actually just wiped out the mouth but it's from the special edition nest quick head which with the really creepy smile actually got a bunch of those and used one for Rebecca. I don't know where I got the hair from, but the skirt is a fake Supergirl. And when I say fake, I mean the unlicensed Lego pieces. Uh, and then I just, of course, added the paint. And I actually got to show this to Rebecca at, at VidCon, which was really nice. And it was really nice seeing her. Uh, I've actually got a story about her coming up that I'm going to animate one day. But uh, she is the reason I opted to get this this high in the list. Uh, at least this high. I did, I did add a little bit extra so I could get this extra pack. But this is the main reason why I wanted to back this campaign. And of course I just showed the QR test which with the QR code. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, I'll I'll bother to do the editing later. So, because uh, I was hoping to do this as a clean slate and just upload the video immediately as I'm done recording, but I'm not gonna do that now. I am actually going to put some effort into my videos for once. <laughs> so. Let's open this up, and this one's on camera because this is special. Because this is the holographic one, and this is the one where I'm actually going to need to sleeve a few of them. And uh, yes, so brace yourselves. We have uh, oh oh okay okay. They're having these these out first. So you've already seen a, a lot of these already. 
Uh, there's an action card for literally every animator that is featured here. That's fantastic. There's also their own foods. Uh, and that's the symbol for this animator pack. So mayonnaise, sprinkles, suspicious, trending, prank. And here comes the holographic. Uh, and I just got a little peek. Uh, apparently Jay Witz calls them Charlie's. That's when you accidentally a sift through the cards and you see a little bit right there uh, and that's kind of like the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory scene where he kind of sees it and he can't believe it. Uh, I try to avoid that because I like being surprised uh, although there's not really any surprises here this is basically the same the same pack as before just with the arrangements so that the non holofoil cards are first and ooh, that is very nice. That is Rebecca Perham from Let Me Explain Studios looking lovely as ever. And now she's shiny like a diamond in the rough. Strut the stuff. <laughs> okay, uh, we have Jade and Animations all shiny. And Alan Becker. Uh, the way I would describe this shiny, I'm. I don't know if it's coming out on camera, but they're basically like the Super Rares in Yu-Gi-Oh! Except it's, I want to say, for all of the cards. I I don't... Uh, it looks like it's coming out more in the boxed areas. There's a little bit on the character in the corner. And then everything else. But it's like, I don't know. Is that... Is the whole thing shiny and it's just shinier on the card art? I don't... Uh, hmm. Also, it definitely seems uh, with all of the characters that are portrayed in white, there is definitely something going on. So it's like for the logo and the background, it seems, it seems to go for its own thing. But then with all of the white that is... On the character, it does kind of fade in with the glow. Uh, yeah, the explosion here is more shinier than the rest of the background uh, to show off them. Uh, yeah, so the Amazing has the purple hat. Uh, it's just the skin that is this, that is the most shiny. Uh, it's very hard to explain. Uh, I'm trying the best I can to show these off. It's only because I just noticed Wolfie Chew here is mostly white in her design. Not just in the skin, but also the the dress and the ears. It's really hard for me to pin down, but I guess the best way to explain it... You know what? G you know what? Give me a second. I actually do have something to compare it to. Um, where did I put it? Uh, did I put it here? I put it in my deck, right? Uh, let me have a look. Sorry about this. I just want to bring something... Ah, okay. This'll do. This'll do. Uh, put that there for a second. So, uh, wait, here's the pile again. Let me just get the pile here. Right. So this here is Metal Guru Ramon from the starter deck that I just got today. Uh... Uh, it is sleeved, mind you, so you probably won't see too much of it. But it is shiny on all of the card, although I think it's a little bit more laid back in this one just to show off the artwork of Metal Guru I'm on. Uh, but it does show off the name in its shiny, and that's kind of what they've gone for here. So I'm going to get the lovely Rebecca here for a second, and yeah... It's sort of the same, not exact, mind you, but because I'm looking at this area here where it's just the banner and I'm comparing it to Metal Guru Ramon's name and it's kind of the same thing, except for most of the card. Uh, this one is more laid back, again, to show off Metal Guru Ramon himself. Uh Whereas Rebecca, it's for the entire thing. And it kind of makes her look like she's constantly changing color like a chameleon. Just because of the, just because she's mostly white in the face and the arms. That's kind of part of the holographicness of the card. 
And it's the same with everybody else. Uh, I'll show you the rest, of course. Get Mads, Wolfie Chu, Dominic's, and something. Yeah, see, again, with the face, the hands, with the IOU. I didn't actually notice that the first time. That's interesting. I will find you, is what he's saying. And that, too, is more silver than anything, really. Right, okay. Okay, so. Ugh. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, I had to cut that out again. So I'm going to put that there. I play Rebecca in attack mode. So that's good old Rebecca. And then I'll also play the odd ones out. And he's like, I'm going to throw a hamburger at you. <laughs> right, so that's it for my unboxing. Again, I didn't plan this one. I just thought... Hey, why not show off all the cards? So I showed off all the cards and I hope that's all right. I hope, uh, you know, the odd ones out doesn't come after me and say, say well, you showed all the cards, you shouldn't have showed all the cards. But it should be all right, I think. And hey, it doesn't replace actually having these cards in hand because these are really, really well made. Uh, I'll still sleeve them though, just in case. But these are really, really nice. And I will be playing with my friends eventually to see how they like it but as far as i'm concerned i am very happy that i backed this kickstarter uh the cards are very very nice they will be sleeved and the only thing i need to do now is play the game itself but even if i don't play the game it's it's just nice to have it's nice to have a amiibo of the odd ones out it's nice to have his autograph uh, the box, the box itself is very nice. I'll actually be using that to carry my Digimon cards. And yeah, until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I hope, I hope you have enjoyed these videos as very basic as they seem to be. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you want to see more and I'll probably do more. But until next time, this is Tomagotchi signing out. Click, click.